Jehu rides toward peace. Elisha sent a prophet to anoint a man named Jehu to be the next king of Israel. Jehu right away started bringing God's punishment on Ahab's household, just as God said should happen. As it turned out, when Jehu went looking for Ahab's son, the current king of Israel, the king of Judah was there with him too. Jehu rode toward them in his chariot. When the two wicked kings saw him coming, they wondered if everything was okay. They sent a messenger out to ask. Do you come in peace? What do you know of peace? Jehu answered. Follow me and I'll lead you where you want to go. The messenger got in behind Jehu. When the two kings saw their messenger didn't come back, they sent a second messenger. The second messenger rode out and asked, Do you come in peace? Peace? Jehu answered, You don't even know peace yourself. Come with me. So the second messenger got in behind Jehu. Jehu kept riding hard and was getting closer and closer. Someone told the two kings, Your second messenger isn't coming back either. And the man in the chariot, he looks like Jehu. He drives like a maniac. So the king of Israel rode out to meet Jehu and yelled, Jehu, do, do you come in peace? But Jehu replied, Peace? How can there be any peace as long as your mother Jezebel worships idols and serves Satan? When the king of Israel heard this, he knew he was in big trouble since he was no better than his mama. So he turned his horse around and fled, calling out to the king of Judah, It's a trap! Run! Run! But Jehu eventually caught them both. Jehu did away with both of the kings and brought punishment on all of the men who had supported Ahab and all the Baal worshippers. So now it was time to deal with Jezebel. Jezebel heard Jehu was coming. She knew she had to come up with a plan if she still wanted to be on her throne. So she dressed in fancy robes, did her hair, and put paint around her eyes to draw attention to herself and try to look pretty. Then when she saw Jehu coming, she leaned out of the window. She batted her eyelashes and said, Yoo-hoo! Look at me, up here! You realize that on your own you could fail very badly, don't you? You need me. She was trying to look beautiful to the commander so that he would like her, but she was also trying to make him feel weak at the same time so that he would feel like he needed her help. This way, she could still be in control. So what she was really shouting from the window was, I'm beautiful and you need me because I control things. So make me your queen. When a woman tries to use her beauty to try to get control or feel good power over men, ugly. So while Jezebel was probably very beautiful on the outside, she was ugly on the inside, wasn't she? And that's really all that matters to God. Of course, there's nothing wrong with eyelashes or beauty. Sometimes the eyelashes or smile God gives ladies are wonderful ways to wordlessly say, I love you or I really, really care. Women can be brave and strong and wise and beautiful in hundreds of ways, and that's great. Remember all the lovely ladies we've talked about before? Sarah, who said, laugh with me. Rebecca, who covered her prettiness in order to help God get all the attention. Ruth, the loyal companion who wanted God's covering over her life. Deborah, who judged and led God's children with wisdom. J.L., who took her opportunity to bam God's enemy without hesitation. Jephthah's dancing daughter, who saw with heaven eyes. And Abigail, who used her kindness and charm to tame a lion of a man. A woman's inner beauty can be seen in so many unique and wonderful ways. But when a woman tries to use her outside beauty to try to get feel-good control over men, it's ugly. 
Jehu took one look at Jezebel with her hair and face all done up, trying to be pretty, and he saw straight to her ugly heart. So he yelled up to her servants, Hey, is anyone up there who's on my side? Throw that woman down to me. Sure enough, a couple of men servants were up there and threw Jezebel over the wall, and she died. And just as Elijah said would happen, dogs ran off with her bones. So remember to always see outside beauty and inside beauty with heaven eyes. There are so many ways a godly woman can make the world a beautiful place, but any look at me controlling stuff is not ever beautiful at all.